Hey guys, Steph here. Uh, the last couple of days has been a bit of a avalanche of puppies. We have 10 puppies. Uh, so six from a temple, three like surrender types, and one that was found really sick on the side of the road. Hey sweetheart, do you wanna say hi? So this big girl's one of the surrenders. And I've got food here for temple puppies. Temple puppies. You guys hungry? You hungry little bit? This kibble's pretty big for them. Um, the only puppy kibble we have though. <laughs> What's that? So this little group here came from the Lampang Temple that we've I've made videos of before. Um, it's a temple in Lampang that has about 300 dogs and they're constantly bringing more to this poor monk who's just trying to keep up. So it's anti Sook Foundation goes and we sterilize the new dogs that come in so there's not puppies born from the resident dogs. Uh, but new ones come in, either pregnant or already with puppies, um, or they're there for long enough that they mate and they get pregnant before we can help them. Hello. Um, so my understanding is that this litter of five plus one, like that big chihuahua e guy, is not, not part of this litter. Um, we're dumped there without their mom. So um, Santi Sook founder uh, Namphon was there uh, yesterday to do something at the temple and brought these guys back. They're super cute. Hi. Hmm? So the reason that we pull puppies out of this temple is because there's new dogs always coming in, sick dogs come in. So they have distemper outbreaks pretty regularly at this place. So we vaccinated the adult dogs, um, but the new ones that come in, just like they're not sterilized, they're not vaccinated. So unfortunately, um, a lot of puppies die of parvo and distemper in the temple. Um, these guys seem pretty healthy, like there's definitely no distemper signs. Um, they. I first saw them last night and they were really, really pale. Uh, they actually looked a little bit pinker this morning. Um, they've got wormy bellies, so I gave a dewormer this morning, especially this non-litter mate. Really, really big wormy belly. Um, so hopefully by tonight we'll have some wormy poos. Um, and I gave an iron supplement as well because they were so pale and we'll continue to give that. Um, I think they're about five weeks old, and I think this one's a little bit older, probably closer to six, maybe possibly seven weeks, because um, he's got some little bubbles. Can I feel the little bubbles? Yeah. But he's got two testicles that have dropped, so he's a little bit older. Um, and these guys are just super cute. Like, they're pretty nondescript. They're just puppies. Um, they do have umbilical hernias. Three of them have kind of bad umbilical hernias, you can see here. So that's just when the umbilical cord like when it comes off, the muscle doesn't grow underneath. So right under this skin is actually possibly her intestines. So it's very, very thin. As you can imagine, you know, puppy uh, belly skin is very thin. So if she were to catch that on something or if one of her siblings were to rip into that exact spot, potentially her guts could fall out and we definitely do not want that. Um, so we have the vet coming tomorrow. I'm gonna have her look at it. Um, this is the, there's three of them, but they're all kind of that same degree. Um, and how they normally fix it is when they do the sterilization surgery, either the spare or the neuter, they'll just close it up there. Um, the vet cuts the skin, kind of pushes everything in, closes the muscle, and then closes the skin on top of it. Um, these guys are too small for the um, vets that we use to work on. So the vets that we work with, the local Thai vets, generally won't do them under 10, 12 weeks usually. Um, so this one, she does have a little bit, I think it's a little demodex spot there on her nose. You can see there's a flea right there too. A um, Couple little spots like this, so I just treated those um, just as surface wounds. 
I'm not gonna put them on any medication for the Demodex because they're so little and just good nutrition they'll bounce back and they'll probably grow out of that the fleas I did pick off quite a few fleas this morning and a few ticks um, not too too bad though so I think we'll probably tomorrow let them settle down a little bit more today and then tomorrow do a dish soap bath so it's really easy on their skin it doesn't have any pesticides like a flea and tick shampoo and that'll just kill the little fleas and be easier on you right so those are the six temple pups um, two of the uh, like the surrender pups so this girl had three dogs to catch, couldn't keep them anymore, whatever. But guys, they're pity puppies. So here's the big girl. She came, she's about six months old. Look at these! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, pity puppies! Hello! Hi, sweet girl! Oh yeah. You're a nice girl. She's so about six months, and then these guys, about ten weeks. Hello! Pity puppies. They're both boys and they're adorable. And he's got a ridgeback. You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? So he's got that gray with the ridgeback. He's so cute. And they're already very mouthy. They're very mouthy young boys. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And she's a sweetheart. Hey, Mr. Pet. Hey, Mr. Pet. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Oh, I miss pity puppies. They're they're the cutest puppies. Come on, like bully breed puppies are the cutest puppies. Uh, so these guys are gonna get neutered tomorrow, and hopefully, so the boys will get neutered, and then the big fluffy girl she's gonna get spayed, and hopefully they're gonna go right out to new homes. Uh, the big girl she's like looks like a golden lab that's very popular. She's friendly. I think she'll get adopted. And then the two little boys, the, that gray ridgeback, he's going to go so fast. And little black, I think it might be a little harder to find you a home. But you're so cute. And babies, hi babies. Kittens. Bonus kittens. Hi guys. Hey Harry. Hey George. Hey William. Last but certainly not least, we have a really cute little girl puppy uh, named Bun La. So some people found her like just on the road. She was in really bad shape. They brought her to the university hospital and she's been hanging out with the cats, but I can't find her. Um, she's a teeny tiny little thing. She's about five weeks old. Um, she had like super, super heavy parasite burden. Uh, internal parasites, so roundworms, and then she had really terrible, terrible lice as well. Um, so she was anemic and dehydrated, and I can't find her. But not, but not, but not, but not. Papa, we gotta find her. We found her. Here she is. Hi, baby. Hello. Here's a girl. So we got her, we found her, here she is. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness. Look at that fluff. Um, so she's been in here with the cats for about three days. Uh, the other puppies her age, they just came last night, but where they have come from that situation that they were in the temple and not directly exposed, but a possible exposure to the distemper virus, we definitely don't want to put her in with them needlessly. Um, so in a week, if they still look symptom free, then she can go in with them then, but we want to wait because we don't want to expose her if we don't have to. Um, obviously, I've washed up, I've bleached before handling her, going from those puppies. Uh, but she's just the sweetest. Um, she's in here with the cats, but the cats don't really like her. <laughs> um, Oh, she's making cute noises. Do you want to make cute noises? I think she's gonna come home with me tonight because she's slept in the shelter alone the last two nights and the cats have not slept with her. Um, so she might just come and sleep, maybe not in the bed, but on the floor with the paralyzed dog at my house. Huh? Say hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? You doing? You doing? Oh. <laughs> Be easy. So the only friend she's made is me, Boone, who is high on phenobarbital because she has seizures. It's okay, darling. It's okay. <laughs> is it the only friend you've made? No, you come here. 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 So that'll do it for us for this video. <laughs> I'm happy. I've got puppies. That's all I need. Uh, Cats, I don't necessarily get cats, like I love them, but I don't get them. Give me a bunch of sick puppies to take care of, that's what I know, that's what I do best. <laughs> like this, uh, ow, ow, ow. Oh look it, it's Wilford Brimley. Hi Wilford, you gonna tell us about diabetes? He's gonna tell us about diabetes, but in Thai. No? <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching. This is Boon Lot. I'm Steph. Uh, this is Tenpa Thailand. We love you. See you next time. <laughs> You're bad. You're very bad. All right, we have a new foster friend. Everybody's waiting to meet her. Me Boon, me Boon. Uh, not me Boon. What's your name? Boon Lot. Boon Lot, Boon Lot. Hi. Right, everybody be easy. Everybody be easy. Gentle with the baby, okay? Gentle with the baby. There we go. Likes her. Clarky likes her. Monkey likes her. You gonna go outside? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's give her some space. Give her some. Space.